everybody. I'm Bruce Kyle. I'm an architect evangelist with Microsoft, and I'm here today with Paul Heal, who is a senior software developer here at Quark. And you're going to tell me a little bit about what you guys are up to with uh, Quark Promote and the new features in Windows 7. So tell me a little bit about Quark Promote to start with. Quark Promote, Quark Promote is a uh, WPF client we've created to allow small and medium businesses to go ahead and create uh, printed collateral for marketing copy for their business. Uh, we start out with uh, a template file that they can then modify for their own needs. They can add their own photos, they can change the text and the, the way it looks, the layout of the uh, documents, and then they can go ahead and order those documents from either a prints by mail provider or from a neighborhood printer that's close to their business. So, so what's up with Windows 7? Uh, well, in order to match the latest functionality of Windows 7, we went ahead and implemented a few features uh, from the, the light-up features that Windows 7 offers. Uh, the three that we've done so far are the progress bar, the uh, jump list or user tasks that you can do from the taskbar, and uh, the thumbnail. We've improved the thumbnail than from the default uh, way that, that the APIs allow for. Cool. So, so why don't you show it to us? Okay, we can do that. Okay, so when we first start up the Quark Promote client, uh, we start with the option of either opening templates that we've already modified, which we have a few here available. We can look at different documents within the, the template set. Or we offer a series of templates online in different industries. So here we go to the accounting industry. We'll choose that first package. And if you watch the, the taskbar icon down below, as it's downloading, you'll see the progress bar tick away down at the bottom as well as in the dialog. And now that the document's open, you'll see that there's a quite a bit of real estate using uh, the features or taken up to do the features that allow you to edit your documents. Uh, but if we go down to the taskbar icon, you'll see that the preview is just the editable area. And it's completely in sync, so if we were to zoom in a little bit, go back to that thumbnail, you'll actually see the editable area still, and you'll be zoomed in on what the, the client has already zoomed in on. And then the last elements that we added from the Windows Light Up features uh, we're task. We're tightly integrated with our website, so if we click the visit our website, you'll jump to our home page, or you can actually shop the online templates uh, from that icon as well. Jump to that part of our website. So we can go to our appointment cards or our data sheets, and we can browse them. So these Windows Light Up features allow us real quick easy, simple access uh, to the Windows 7 features that applications have. So Paul, thanks for the demo. Good. Can you tell me a little bit about what it took for you guys to implement these features and maybe a little bit of advice of what you tell somebody else who would who might be interested? Well, the, the code that was available or the APIs that were available were on MSDN. We just downloaded the Windows API code pack. Uh, we made the binaries available. We uh, changed like three classes in our in entire code base to, to deal with it. And it was literally a half a, half a day of work to get uh, the three features in. Cool. So, piece of cake. Well, thanks. Well, thanks for being here today, Paul. Uh, we'll see you next time.